and I know I'm, I'm saying this from experience, can I say this, that it is easier to switch this off than you think. It's easier. To, it's easy to switch off this physiological response. Why and how? Because everybody's anxiety operates within a, a grid system. And you can map that grid. So basically what I mean about that is that you have an individual way of responding in anxiety. And then you have an individual story that comes from that physiological response. And that keeps the whole thing going on a loop. Now when you map that, when you get the detail of that, when you get to understand the physical feeling versus the story that you're telling yourself and then the next physical feeling, and when you map that, what you can do is start to switch it off. And that's transformational. Now, what I'm not saying is that the source of the anxiety stops because that doesn't in this process, but it's the beginning of the end of anxiety. Because when you begin to map your anxiety, you can switch off all those physic physical feelings. And you can also identify the source of the anxiety in the mapping. So what we find is when we map anxiety properly and we map it unique to you, this isn't a map that you fit into. This isn't something that I have devised that I say, right, you have to fit into this. This is something that I use, you fit your thoughts, your words, your physiological experience into that. And then we can begin to undo it inside you. And that is how you map anxiety. And that is how real and lasting change happens.